that Disney looks like Disney's going to be moving forward on a live action remake of the Lion King movie. And they also have John Favreau attached to direct. Yeah, yeah, he's going to direct. And that is amazing. Amazing. Now, you might say, what What do you mean a live-action Lion King? Well, look back just a couple months ago when we had the Jungle Book, the live-action Jungle Book that came out, which, if you haven't seen it, I do believe I reviewed it on the show. So check it out. Check out the review. Um, I'll give you – here's here's the cliff notes of the review. It was awesome. Watch it. <laughs> Pretty much that's, that's what it is. And Jon Favreau actually directed that one too. So it looks like we're going to be getting something along the same vein – as the amazing Jungle Book uh, remake. And I honestly, I, I probably haven't been as excited to hear about a remake ever. Ever as I, I was about The Lion King. Yeah, that's I'm, I am. I have a little bit of mixed feelings. So I'm, just, I'm just uncertain what they're going to do with it. With Jungle Book, yeah, there are animal characters in the Disney version and in the, the book version, they're kind of there. Um, but you have a, a human base to, to go through and they can do you something. Have, in the Disney version, there's only one human. No, no well, most of it. Yeah. Um, but still, and, it, and to be, I, I'm, I'm also curious, is this going to be the animation uh, remade or are they going to try and make it more like the play that they also made? That was a big Broadway thing for a while. Right. Mm. I, I don't know. And I, Everything I've read is it's going to focus mostly on uh, the play slash the animation. Uh, I do believe they'll be – they have to draw inspiration at least from the play because that is the only time that these characters that I know of have been in live action. So it's going to be interesting. But I do think they picked the absolute perfect guy to spearhead this. Uh, Disney, they just love John Favreau. I mean if you don't realize it, they bought the Marvel franchise after John Favreau did Iron Man. <laughs> so they they like to, to to hitch their wagon to John Favreau, and I don't blame him. He makes some excellent movies. Um, but yeah, I'm just incredibly excited about this. I mean, honestly, if he does even half as good of a job as he did with the Jungle Book, I'm going to be thrilled. Now, hopefully, he does better. Um, one thing I would like to see them do more in the Lion King than they did in the Jungle Book is focus on some of the music. Now, I really, really loved how they incorporated the music. They didn't they didn't get rid of the music from the Jungle Book. You still got Bare Necessities and all that. But they gave you more of a abbreviated version of those, and they weren't quite as spectacular as they were in the cartoons, which, granted, I do understand. It's, it's a little less likely to see somebody running around in real life doing something like that than, I guess, cartoons. But they have musical maybe, movies, too. Maybe. That used to be a big thing anyway. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, and that's part of the experience, I think, with these movies, especially these Disney movies, is the music part of it, because they always did go above and beyond to make sure they're spectacular. I mean, come on, let's let's all think of our favorite song growing up as a kid. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Like, if they don't, like, extend that whole song out, I'm going to be very upset. So, John Favreau, start taking notes. The only way you can ruin this movie for me is if you don't give me enough Hakuna Matata. That's right. Now, one thing I will note about the the music, um, fairly recently I saw a little bit of, I guess they did an extended version or a remastered version of the um, the, the the animated uh, Jungle Book or not Jungle Book, sorry, mm-hmm. uh, Lion King, mm-hmm. where I think that they added in. Either they added in music or they added in verses to some of the songs in certain places. And you could kind of tell it. And I actually thought that it was a little bit off. Like, it felt like this was someone else now making the music. Obviously, it was, like, made 15 years later or something. So it probably was. Um, Different voices. So it was a little bit jarring there. I don't think they did quite a spectacular job. So I think they do need to be careful with that if they try to do something like that. And if they do use the music... I'm hoping they're using the music exclusively from the original original, not that that that's all I'm asking for. Just the original not, music. Yeah, just and not original. not any of the extended stuff. Maybe it's nostalgia yeah. for me, but it, it just felt worse. <laughs> yeah, no, I just I, I want the original music. I mean, like I said, that's 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 what's ingrained in my brain from my childhood. I do remember I actually saw this movie in theaters, uh, believe it or not. It was uh, I do remember seeing it in theaters. I must have been like Ooh, nine, nine or ten years old when this movie came out. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. The music was, everything was spectacular. And that only brings one question left: is 
who are they going to bring as the voice actors? I'm hoping they go with some of the originals. Uh, now, James Earl Jones, me and Brendan had a discussion earlier whether he was dead or not, and I'm hoping he's not. So I, I think um, I confirmed that he, he is still alive. Good. Awesome. At least, so at James Earl Jones, bring him back as Mufasa. Um, you had Jeremy Irons uh, was the voice of Scar back in the day, so he he's plenty available, it seems like, to bring him back. And you know what was funny? I saw who the voice of Simba was. It was Matthew Broderick, which... It's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off guy. So that was interesting. I mean, I guess you could bring him back if he can still pull that voice off. But other than that, I don't know. I just, I'm a big guy into voice acting. So, you know, the classics were what I remember. As long as they have the same high quality. Like if you're like Idris Elba is now going to be Mufasa. I'm like, cool. Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be Scar. Awesome. I'm a, I'm totally down with it. And how come I only named British voice actors because those are who you like lately i don't know well but in cover well, match like that's who you would say for anything every movie ever well, every movie ever i say better to cover match you just elbow too don't i throw him in like every <laughs> other movie so yeah it is what it is but that, i mean but hit us up let us know what you think who would you want to voice act the characters of the new lion king movie Give us a shout out. Comments down below, of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always oh, good ways to get a hold of us, but let's keep on a walk.